Coo Tree Bar for Willstone 2, absolute one, a fiery encounter, but uh, one that you couldn't pull a point from. Yeah, unfortunately, um, I'm, I'm gutted today because I think it was much more possible today. We had enough uh, spaces, enough gaps, couldn't uh, make a last decision right, and nearly, I think this was maybe the best word for today, it was almost and nearly, and could have scored here and there with massive chances from my point of view, not for, for a fan or for a football fan, things like, oh, we had clear-cut chances. I think we had more than enough where we entered the box where we could have made one more good decision and score goals. Haven't um, at least uh, scored from, from a nice set piece uh, to come back to the game. And then obviously a shocking decision and uh, go down, down with a pen and a red card to one and then chase the game. I think after we were down to 10 men um, and conceded the 2-1 from a pen, we were outstanding on top of them, tried to score, um, had many opportunities in the box um, to create something and um, proud of the boys for the last, I don't know when it was, 15, 20 minutes. Going down to 10 men in these conditions must have been absolutely brutal for the players physically. A hundred percent. I think they were really, and they will sleep well tonight because it was 12 minutes at a time and then on to the 12 minutes, a few minutes more. So it was tough conditions today for everyone and uh, you could see when, when you need to chase a game, it took a lot out of them in the end, but um, as I said, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of the last minutes after we went down to 10 men and uh, went to one down. We don't, didn't want to accept the defeat and that's, that's pleasing for me to see because it's easily with these conditions to one down, referee awful, uh, to go down and go away and say like, okay, we can't win it today, no chance. We are two one down to 10 men, so we can't do anything. But they were like, nah, we want to get something out of the game and we really try hard. And as I said, that was the most pleasing thing for me today to see. First half, you had to rely on your goalkeeper, Mark Cousins, for a string of fantastic saves. He really did pull them out of the bag, didn't he? Yeah, but as I always say, so uh, yeah, we're good saves. But um, if teams want to shoot outside the box, that's the reason why you have a goalkeeper. So he should save them. But we're a good save, so a credit to him. But we know how good he is on the line. So I'm not worried if they want to shoot from... 20, 25 yards, they can do it, our goalkeeper's there. But then, unfortunately, the goal we conceded, this was um, a bit unlucky. I think this was maybe, uh, there were a few other uh, shots much better than this one. But at the end of the day, it uh, was in the back of a net. So, uh, a couple of good saves there from him to keep us in the game. But uh, that's what we have expected today anyway. Uh, and then need to capitalise from our counter breaks and switching play, where we had a few good uh, occasions and a few good situations where we should have done better. Apart from adding 18 minutes at the end of the game, the referees seemed to like issuing yellow cards today. There were, there were lots for both sides, weren't there? Yeah, sometimes it's more about them than about the players and um, that's always where I start to struggle because I think if a referee, if, you, if no one speaks about the referee and uh, he's not like uh, nothing to speak about, then it's always a situation where you can say he must have had a great game. But if I go to the referee and said thanks for the game and I hear the opponent telling him how bad he was, and we think the same, then obviously something's wrong in the picture. But at the end of the day, it definitely cost us much because we conceded a red card and conceded a penalty. Uh, I think the foul was far before. So if you want to send him off, it's fine, but then give a free kick and not a pen and a, um, and a red card. But at the end of the day, we can't change it anyway. You've got Dominic Polion away on international duty at the moment. Will he be back for next week? Yeah, he will definitely be back. Um, he's doing well uh, for his country, so uh, he can be proud of himself uh, to do something good in his, for his country. Uh, we needed to try to get a win without him today. It uh, was not happening. So he will be back, as I said, on I think tomorrow or Tuesday and then uh, available again. They're one of the favourites for the title, aren't they, Chesterfield, next week? But uh, that's going to be a good game. Yeah, 100%, but you can see uh, if we struggle like the game today, we struggle. So uh, we need to make sure that we're ready for every single game, um, different approaches. We will see um, what they want to do, what, where their strengths are and what the weaknesses and try to exploit and try to make sure that we keep our win-lose run going. Well, let's hope that you can get back-to-back -back wins following a win against Chesterfield. Yeah, that would be amazing. Wouldn't it just? Thanks, Dennis. Cheers.